Hello and welcome back to Redirecting. Well, I have something very, very interesting that I want to share with you, family. And I want you to pay very close attention to what I'm about to share with you. Listen to all of the wording and the verbiage because this one is a doozy. I'm not surprised though, but it is a doozy. And it is kind of bothersome that uh, this is on the table right now, but it is what it is. This is the country we live in. So let me just get right to it. So the Florida governor is drafting a new law that would allow people to shoot looters. Okay, but it's not that cut and dry. I'm going to get into uh, some more information about this so that you can get a better understanding of exactly what they're trying to do, because it's to me is very clear and very obvious. It says, Florida's governor has drafted anti-mob legislation to expand already controversial stand your ground laws. This is to allow people to shoot looters, according to a report. Now that's not the mo that's not the half of it. Let me get into more of this. It says a draft of Governor Ron DeSantis proposed bill expands the list of forcible felonies under Florida's self-defense law to include criminal mischief causing interruption or impairment of a business. Okay. It also specifically allows force against those looting, which the draft defines as burglary within 500 feet of a violent or disorderly assembly. And so look, one thing I want to say before I continue on with this is if you know that there's some looting going on or something done broke out because of some injustice, uh, there are better ways or different ways to protest. But I would say stay the heck away from these places because Florida is trying to give people an excuse to just shoot you. Okay. And most people are not going to just shoot. They're going to shoot to kill. And we know who this is all for. This is a result of a lot of the protesting that has taken place with Black, Black Lives Matter. And so you know who the targets are. And people can formulate any type of lie that they want and say, well, I thought this person was doing this. I thought, remember the um, case recently where there was a woman just driving around with her, one of her relatives, I believe it was her nephew and her two-year-old. And she had nothing to do with any protest, but because she was driving near, they snatched her and her nephew up out of the vehicle and they paraded the little two-year-old around, even though he was injured, trying to pretend to comfort him. Let me just get back to this. It says DeSantis also wants to make a third degree felony to, he wants to make it a third degree felony to block traffic during a protest and offer immunity. Here's the one that really gets me right here. He wants to offer immunity to drivers who accidentally kill or injure protesters who do so, according to the Herald. So listen to this. He says he wants to offer immunity to drivers who accidentally kill or injure a protester. How many of you know that any driver who is willing to plow through a crowd or something like that is not doing it accidentally. But this is his dog whistle, in my opinion, just telling them, look, if someone's protesting, if they get in your way, you have immunity if you kill or injure them. So this is why I'm saying, folk, y'all need to just stay away. Stay away from these situations because they are drafting laws. They're trying to draft laws to make it legal to, for people to just take you out of here okay numerous other sections enhance criminal pen penalties for people involved in a violent disorderly assembly and withholds state funds from any local government that cuts law enforcement funding so basically they're saying if you go along with this thing where you want to cut funding from law enforcement even though it has been shown and proven that law enforcement is not always fair in their dealings with so-called black people or Latinos. We know this, they're not always fair, but they're saying, look, if you are a local government who goes along with this mess, we are gonna cut funding. So if you are paying attention to this to wording 
in this. You see what they're trying to do here. Let me read some more of this stuff. DeSantis has long threatened to introduce the strongest pro-law enforcement, anti-rioting, anti-looting legislation anywhere in the country. Even though the Sunshine State has been a hub of violent protest. While a draft version of the bill was circulated to the Senate Committee on Criminal Justice, it has not been filed in either the House or Senate, but has already sparked outrage, the paper said. It allows for vigilantes to justify their actions. Denise Georges, a former Miami-Dade County prosecutor who has handled Stand Your Ground cases, told the paper. It also allows for death to be the punishment for a property crime. And that is cruel and unusual punishment. We cannot live in a lawless society where taking a life is done so casually and recklessly. <sighs> wow, this is something else. Former Miami-Dade prosecutor Aubrey Webb warned that the draft was far too vague and could lead to justifiable deaths after minor infractions. It dangerously gives armed private citizens power to kill as they subjectively determine what constitutes criminal mischief. That interferes with the business. Someone graffitiing Black Lives Matter on a wall, urinating behind a dumpster, blocking an entrance. The Boston Tea Party members would have been lawfully shot under Florida law by the British. Civil rights attorney Melba Pearson warned that the proposal would have a chilling effect on free speech. These are not mobs running around the streets. People are using their First Amendment rights. This is a democracy, she told the paper. DeSantis' office did not respond to the Herald's request for comment. And so he is painting a picture He's basically saying, look, we want folk to just get killed for property violation. We want to give private citizens the rights to take other people's lives if they feel that it is justifiable because this leaves so much wiggle room for people to make claims that were simply not true to justify killing someone. And especially the one where you say if someone is blocking traffic during a protest, you're giving them legal rights to kill or injure. That just sounds so far-fetched. It, it sounds d disturbing to me that a governor would propose such a bill. But I can assure you that there are a lot of people who agree with his proposal. But we all know that this is aimed at so-called black people. We all know that Florida's governor is pretty much telling white people that here is your license to kill black people. We all know this. Because let me tell you something, if there is an unlawful assembly because of, let's just, let, let's just say this presidential election, what if uh, pro-Trump supporters are upset because things didn't go in their favor and they decide to take to the streets and do things? Or let's say a football team in which we've seen white football teams or sports teams who will go out and they will break beer bottles, bust windows, do all kinds of things. And so are you saying that a black citizen can do what you're saying if they if they if these white people who are celebrating decide to block traffic? Are you saying that a citizen can just um, injure or kill them because they're blocking traffic? See, when you when you flip things around, it sounds horrible. But what do you think it sounds like to us when we know that these laws are being drafted against so-called black people? We know that that's why they're drafting these laws. And so Florida is pretty much telling you, look. We want to do this to you, but we need to have legal grounds to stand on. So maybe we should draft some bills that are going to be in our favor to justify what we want to do. These are the things that we want to do. And so we're going to draft some bills to make it legal. I mean, there's no other way to look at this. People can rationalize in their heads all they want, but I'm going to say this. This, this country calls themselves a Christian nation, and I absolutely believe that they are. Because when you look at the history of Christianity, it is a joke. It is a joke. They have gone around the world killing, stealing, and destroying. And they continue to do that, but they've painted themselves out to be saints. And so you have um, individuals or um, systems, or courts, and um, law enforcement, and governors 
people in leadership and rulership, drafting laws and making plans and justifying doing things that they know they wouldn't want done to them. But when you don't really truly fear our creator, the one that you all call God, when you really don't fear him and you just think you're going to continue to get away with things, this is what we see coming across the table. There's no two ways about it. It is what it is. And so what I want to say to so-called black people and um, brown people, whatever you want to call them, Latinos or Mexicans or whatever, what I want to say to you is stay the heck away from protest. Okay, because even with a protest, you have a constitutional right to do so. But get this. You will have individuals who will lie. You see how number 45 just doesn't care. They've, they've actually created a count of his lies. And people who support him are the same way. They don't care about truth and honesty. They don't care about righteousness. They don't care about hell, apparently, because they don't fear our creator. I can see many of them claiming that they thought someone was looting who was actually protesting and using this drafted law, if it passes, to go ahead and take someone's life and go to head, go go home and, and lay down and go to sleep and not think any more about it. That's when you have a cold blooded heart. There are a lot of people of many different races who have cold blooded hearts. And so the last thing you need is someone drafting a bill to condone that. I'm done with this video family. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, share and like this video. And with that, I am out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.